does Tenderize use the graph for any of its own infrastructure? I mean, it's very clear here that it's a work protocol that Tenderize is identified as providing liquidity for. But what about on your infrastructure? Is the graph something you use? Yeah, definitely. Um, I wouldn't be able to live without the graph and, and subgraphs, honestly. We use uh, subgraphs for our protocol to index a lot of data that's actually shown in the app. Uh, and it's actually very data rich. We don't show a lot of information that's actually available in the application, but you could build a very large dashboard of, of the data that's in our subgraphs, actually. Because I remember the days that you didn't have a service like the graph. And if you wanted to do index events, which is what the graph network does, it, it indexes events on the blockchain, you would have to do that on the use, user's mach machine itself or on some centralized server. Uh, and you would all have to write everything for that from, from scratch. Uh, and I remember working in my consulting job and each day refreshing the graph homepage to see when it would go live because I, I was tired of always creating these kind of indexing services from scratch in, in, in the browser. So, so yeah, I've been, uh, I've been a big fan of the graph and uh, we've been using it at LifePeer as one of the early launch partners as well. And then at the Tenderize as well, we, we use it heavily. So yeah, big, big user of the graph.